Alrighty guys, uh, out here working on cattle pen. Want to get in here while it was still sloppy, that way I can find a true bottom to the slop and get down to the hard dirt. <laughs> a lot deeper than I thought it was. But uh, got the wood ramp out, which used to sit right there to get up over that board. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just taking this loose stuff and I'm going to push it out down to this end and smooth it out a little. It's all just sloppy right now because we've been getting rain and whatnot. And, but it's about two inch, two or three inches deep of slop and then it's hard, but it's just right here by the door. Um, so we'll get in here and get some cleaned out. Little skid steer's getting her done. It spins the tires a lot, but it's it's getting it. Stuff out of this hole, then I can get a hold of it and push it. But I gotta get get the old slop out of the hole there. several million gallons of that that'd be some excellent manure right there to put on the field take too much material out of the pen it'll dry over here just because it's they've kind of packed it down a little bit and we got a little bit of a depression in the whole pen and if I can get the whole thing you know eventually build up a little bit it'll probably be all right you know drain better I'm also going to move that downspout on that gutter over to that side I got to re-slope the gutter the other way but that's all right
We know we might put this limestone in and I'll just uh, we don't put a whole bunch of or redo the whole, or limestone the whole area. Already, uh, that, uh, got all that cleaned out and everything. Pushed all the slop and crap down to this end, and if this limestone works right here, I think, you know, if this slop's only about that deep, but this winter and everything, if that, you know, if that works and whatnot, after I get rid of this bunch of cattle, I'll probably scoop out the slop and, and just put, uh, limestone the whole pen the uh that'll that slop will all dry up in about two days it rained yesterday and then you give it tomorrow and most of it will settle out or uh, wait till saturday but for right now it, but even those couple days i kind of hate all that so that's what uh what we're gonna do there all right, guys, out here uh, putting the last uh, bed of limestone in the cattle pen. I got about a total of two five and a half ton loads, so about 11 ton total. And it's shaping up real nice. I put the first load in a couple weeks ago. Uh, and it, they packed it down quite a bit and it worked out real well. Uh, and I got this other load here. And and it's gonna build it up about where I want it, so things gonna turn out all right. Well, you will notice I have a second three-row head sitting right there. I uh, picked that up yesterday, right now in Southern Illinois, and got that. <coughs> I actually got it from a guy watching my channel. It's kind of cool. Um, thought about maybe buying a whole combine for another project, but it turned out to be more work than I was really wanting to do to it. Uh, this could have been sitting outside some and whatnot, but uh, I did buy some parts off of it and bought uh, I got two three row heads now. I generally try to buy up those three rows if I find one just because they are kind of hard to come by. But anyway, that's uh, what I got there, so. Real nice getting to visit with him for a while. Gotta be careful, it gets awfully light at the back end with that much lime in the bucket. I got in a video of me, I tipped forward, and that's why that gate's all bent up, is because I tipped forward and the skid steer started to roll forward and the gate kind of caught me, but kind of had to sacrifice the gate.
Yeah, the skid steer, it runs great. And, uh, that was what I wanted to. Or at least the kind of this kind of stuff anyway. A little lightweight, but it, for this kind of work, it does pretty good. If the bucket was a little shorter, it would help some, but oh well. here I didn't have enough lime on the first truck load and actually it rained and got kind of sloppy again so I gotta fill that up pretty good here. Let dry out a little and they can pack it down. Been putting a, several inches of a layer in and then drive over it and pack it down and it seems to be working pretty well.
here. them kind of push the rest of that down and I might get a little more and just see where come on could have put that wire a little taller See what they think of this. There we go. Come on, Beef. All right, come on, let's go outside. Come on. Yeah, that's gonna be great. Come on, short stacks. Yeah, what do you think of that? I'm gonna pack that down. I can't really get in here at the skid steer, so but
Yeah, it's just gonna be great. Even if every other year I had to put a truckload in, wouldn't be a problem. That's the kind of sloppy spot right there. You can see they're sinking in some, but that'll harden up. Well, thanks everybody for suggesting uh, different ideas on what to do with this mud hole. Now it's not a mud hole, but uh, really appreciate it. Landmark cattle had sent me some stuff on it and that had gone on what to do and how deep to put it in. And uh, so thanks to him for that. But I think I'll about do it here, so thanks for watching.